Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekend in Review. My name is Joseph Petrovic, and I'm Community Manager for Award Travel 101 on Facebook. And these are the stories that caught headlines this week. I'm going to start with Etihad and a 40% transfer bonus to Etihad guest. Sharing my screen here. And you can see that you can get a 40% transfer bonus when converting your hotel points or certain bank points over to Etihad Guest. There's um, some reasons you might want to do that, and I, I won't get too far into it, but you can book uh, American Airlines business class or first class domestic flights for 25,000 Etihad points each way. And with this transfer bonus, since Capital One happens to be one of your transfer partners, you can actually do this for as little as 18,000 Capital One points to fly American Airlines business or first class domestically. Another one, you have the uh, updated Free Panera Unlimited Sip Club subscription. That's a four-month free. It's worth about $50. Uh, it's $11.99 monthly plus tax. And a um, couple of changes to that. It expands to hot coffee, iced coffee, hot tea, iced tea, fountain beverages, or charged lemonade every two hours. So if you want to give that a try, it might be worth it. The previous subscription was actually a little less, but it was also a little more limited in that it was only hot coffee, and hot tea, so you had limited beverage types. It was a little less expensive, but you can try this for four months free using the link in this post. Another new promotion, and it's double your fun at Hilton, double points on paid Hilton stays. So normally as a standard member, you're earning 10 points per dollar. So those are your base points. And instead of earning 10 points per dollar, you'll now earn 20 points per dollar. Uh, so you're earning more points. Everybody has a little different variation on what their Hilton points are worth. But most people peg them in the ballpark of half a cent each. So it's worth another five cents uh, per dollar spent on paid stays. So that may be worth it. And the other part that's interesting is they're also giving elite members a chance to get their nights quicker. So if you're chasing diamond status or gold status or any status with Hilton, you can get there twice as fast now with the double elite night credits through December 31st, 2022. Another interesting uh, promotion is the United Mile Play promotion. So every 60 to 90 days, you can find a new promotion on Mile Play. The link is the same. You can find that here in the post. I was actually um, offered 20,000 United Miles for booking three flights of at least $250 fares. Keep in mind that if you book a $250 ticket, there are generally 10% in taxes and fees and things of that nature. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you're doing this, you um, make sure that the fare is at least $250, not that the ticket, it, total price on the ticket is $250. Another one that made news the other day, we have Sky Miles and Starbucks teaming up. If you are purchasing uh, beverages or food at Starbucks, you are now earning one mile per dollar. Not terribly exciting to most people, but if you're buying discounted um, gift cards or you're loading at special rates, I know that I had loaded some Starbucks earlier in the year. Uh, there was a promotion from the Chase Sapphire Preferred and Reserve cards. With the reserve, you actually earn 10 ultimate rewards per dollar. So I preloaded those and every dollar spent of those at Starbucks will now earn one mile per dollar. In addition to that, linking your accounts, you'll also earn 500 bonus Sky Miles and an additional 150 stars, which may get you to the next Starbucks status to earn double stars. And finally, uh, the Hilton Honors Weekend Free Night Certificate 
This was actually something I posted in our premium group award travel 201 almost four months ago, but the Hilton Honors weekend requirement has dropped permanently from the certificates, making these certificates much more flexible. You can use these at aspirational properties everywhere for up to 150,000 points per night at places like the Waldorf Astoria Los Cabos or the Maldives. Um, lots of properties in the Maldives running anywhere between 110 and 150,000 points per night. But there are a lot of other properties internationally and domestically that can uh, be beneficial for you too. So that's the weekend in review. I want to thank everybody for joining us here in Award Travel 101 and on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care.